Jack Osman paints on human bodies. He takes mere seconds. His tool, a knife or blati, not a brush. He is only doing what he does best, dispatching foes. An overseas graduate in chemical engineering and filmmaking, Jack is a master of Thai boxing, Silat Pancasila Gayu Harimau, and his clan's own art, Silat Harimau Brantai, the last he began to learn only at 26. So I wasn't told about my family art at all. Uh, Harimau Brantai style never, never told before until I was 26. I was already a big man, I'm already a uh, champion, I was already a founder of international martial arts uh, organization. I came back to Malaysia, then mom say you are ready. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> what ready? This man is jovial and humble, a father figure to his students. His ambition is to develop the young so they become humble, confident, responsible and well-adjusted adults. One of the best gifts of learning the martial arts is it will make you a better person. Quote unquote, train under the right teacher. I have something with me which the young people would love to learn, to have. And uh, some really go crazy chasing to learn it from Ja Osman. I know this thing is really good for them, for the next generation. So, I want to be the bridge between the ancient ways and the new generations, which is, the bridge is the arts. So, when we have the bridge, then we can cross over and bring the ancient arts to the new generations. At the same time, by learning the ancient arts, understanding the philosophies, applicable, applying in real life, will make these people a better person. To attract students of all races at his schools in Petaling Jaya and Subang Jaya, he rebranded his art. Silat, yeah, already belongs to the ancient Malay ways. And there's nothing wrong about showing or letting everyone in Malaysia or other in the world appreciate the ancient Malay way, which can also make them a better person, which is perfect for our country. His move worked as young students of various races and nationalities flocked to study under him over the years. Crew and the student is quite close. He's actually he's like a father to us. And most of the students really love him. And crew really share a lot of things with us. Sometimes he told us the story of Muay Thai. Because crew is someone very expert about martial arts. So yeah, we share a lot of things. Um, yeah, we enjoy being with crew. I think he's fantastic, honestly. I've uh, I've tried other cars, but I think he's a very good coach. He's very consistent and he really explains to you every of your steps. And I mean, you can't get it anywhere else because it's like one-to-one -one most of the time. Crew Jack Osman is, is a really nice guy. He's like a father figure to all of us, really. Like, it's, it's the family here. We are all brothers and sisters. We pick each other up when anybody falls, you know, we motivate each other. We complete the task. And crew helps us a lot, even in, you know, outside the club, in the club. Jack also promotes fitness programs such as the 10 record-breaking ones listed in the Malaysian Book of Records. Nominated to the Malaysian Martial Arts Hall of Fame 2009, Jack also writes articles on martial arts for publications locally and abroad. He was a columnist with a locally Malay self-defense magazine. As a filmmaker, Jack has also produced 500 hours of programs. His Inside Silat documentary won Best Documentary and Best Editing Awards out of five nominations in the Malaysian Documentary Film Festival 2009. I always want to be a filmmaker and I'm a filmmaker other than having studios and teach arts around, martial arts around, around the world. An individual story, especially an outstanding and colourful one like Jack, can only be told by others. Jack is uh, an amazing martial artist and he is custodian or through his family are custodians of a fantastic art. The Harimau Brantai, uh, the system that we practice here, is uh, an exceptional style of Penchat Silat. Whether painting with a balati, arranging words using a keyboard, setting records, or recording a film documentary, Jack dispatches them all with ease. He is only doing what he does best, dispatching challenges. Norazia Duraman, The Star Malaysia.